increase. Example problem number 78, page 139 of the textbook. This is in chapter 7 regarding energy. The question reads, if an 80 kilogram sprinter can accelerate from a standing start to a speed of 10 meters per second in three seconds, what is the average power, what, sorry, what average power is generated? Okay, so we're asked to find what is the power, okay, it's generated. And we're given the mass of the sprinter is 80 kilograms. It says they start from a, a standing start, so their initial velocity is zero meters per second. It says that they uh, increase to a speed, uh, velocity of 10 meters per second. That's our final velocity. In a time interval of three seconds. Mm -hmm. So the equations we want to use are that power equals the change in mechanical energy, which is sum of potential and kinetic energy. In this case, we're just moving horizontally, so just change in kinetic energy over time. So this is going to be our final kinetic energy minus our initial kinetic energy over time. And also we need that the equation of kinetic energy is one half m v squared. Well, considering that our initial velocity is zero, that means our initial kinetic energy will be zero. So we find that the power is just equal to our final kinetic energy over time, which is equal to one half m v final squared over t. And plugging in our numbers, we get one half our mass is 80 kilograms times the final velocity, 10 meters per second squared, divided by the time of three seconds. And this will give us, right over here, power of 1,333.33 watts. Okay, so remember the units of power are watts, which is energy joules per second. Okay, so 1,333.33 watts is the average power generated.